If you already thought that Michael Bloomberg was a scumbag, <laughs> well, after today's video, you're going to definitely think he's a scumbag. Because it seems that old Mikey Bloomberg is trying to interfere in the elections for November. Hello everybody and welcome back to Right is Right and before we begin today's video I would like to encourage all of you if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button so that we can help grow this channel so that we can reach more people with the truth. Michael Bloomberg because he's such a generous person <laughs> of course that's extreme sarcasm has decided to pay off the fines of more than 32,000 felons. But of course, there's a catch. Because an old Scrooge like him doesn't just pay off the fines of people for no reason. No. He's trying to get these people, these felons, the ability to vote. And not just anywhere. No. It's in the specific state of Florida. Now why Florida? Well, <laughs> that's because Florida is one of the battleground states. It could go either way. So he knows that felons are more likely to vote for Democrats because Democrats really are the politicians of criminals. And if you thought that was bad, it only gets worse. This only applies to blacks and Latinos. White people, don't you dare think that, oh, Mikey's going to come out and help you. No, you have all that white privilege. You don't need his help <laughs> if you're in prison. Don't worry about it. No, you got white privilege in prison, too. And when you're getting shanked in the back, <laughs> just think about your white privilege. It'll help you out because you'll go to the hospital faster, maybe. I don't know. And maybe you won't bleed out as fast as someone that's not white. But anyways, so all that white privilege has, has stopped many of the unfortunate white felons in prison to receive some of this Mikey Bloomberg money. And we of course all know that Michael Bloomberg is not doing this out of the kindness of his heart. His black cold heart. No. He has self-interest. He couldn't care less about minority felons in the state of Florida. And what he wants to do is horrible for many communities. And we can see an example of this from what happened with Kamala Harris. She promoted a bail fund that helped get some of these criminals out of prisons and they went on to commit domestic abuse. This is a terrible idea for one of these democratic politicians to get involved and to get people out of prison that should not be out of prison. They should not be with the public. But both of these situations are simply for one thing, politics. They do not care about the well-being of the public. They only care about the well-being of their party. But he knows that blacks and Latinos overwhelmingly vote Democrat. And in the state of Florida in 2016, Trump did not win by very much. So it's possible that 32,000 votes could make a difference to win the state. And some of you may be asking, why is he paying these fines? Well, Florida is one of the states, the very few states, that requires their felons to pay the entirety of any fines or fees that they had when they went into prison because of the crime that they committed. And here's one of the funniest details of this story. He's not even paying all these fines with his own money. This man is a multi-billionaire, one of the wealthiest people in the world, and he raised the money from other wealthy celebrities. Wow, what a cheapskate, Mikey. You have billions, and yet you went and asked other people to pay for it. Ridiculous. And who are these other wealthy liberal activist celebrities? John Legend, Jack Dorsey, and Warren Buffett, just to name a few. So try to remember those names. 
And remember that they're supporting a huge racist in Michael Bloomberg and what he's trying to do, the, the very racist thing that he's trying to do to turn Florida blue. Well, that will do it for this video, guys. So please leave me a comment in the comment section below to let me know what you all think about the uber racist Michael Bloomberg. And please do subscribe because I make videos like this almost every day. Focusing in on the stories that the liberal lying media wants to spin or bury. And also, if you could, share the video with your friends. Hit that like button so it'll help me get more exposure. And everyone, I will see you all in the next video. So please take care and stay safe.